Okay, guys. It's episode three of this transfer preseason, and we're not even into the preseason yet. I'm gonna skip the preseason. That's for sure. That's just just gonna be whatever. We are. Well, we are in some trouble here because we got a lot of players that we can't use. We need to get rid of them. I already transfer listed them. Or on loan deals. And so far I have no, had no luck finding a, a central defender or a goalkeeper. At least not anyone good. Because we, they do need to be homegrown. So uh, yeah, well, it's going to be a tough episode, man. It's going to be one of those episodes. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off here in this episode 3 of all transfers, we're getting two new staffs in and they're both on non-contract, we're not paying them anything to be here. This is one of the guys, I mean he's quite alright, uh, I, I like him, he is, he's pretty decent. And we do also have this guy, same deal. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Um, I do still have an advert art for an assistant manager. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to have it. Nope, I don't think so. So we're probably not going to have an assistant manager unless we're getting rid of one of these. Possibly we're going to do that if the assistant manager is better than them. We are also getting in a scout and we are getting in a director of football, I believe. And we are getting in... I believe a physio. I don't. I don't really remember. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. All right. So we got two players here that we can get in. Um. Not the best players. I mean, th this first guy is not the best goalkeeper in the world. He is probably the best I can get right now, and I'm not even sure he's better than what we have. But we are gonna take him for. Do wages we're gonna take him it's gonna be really really hard finding anyone that is homegrown right now so we are gonna take him this guy on the other hand is 30 years old and he is a pretty big star I think <laughs> because I don't really know much about him but I mean the way he can I, I even going to give him the weight raise I, I mean at this point I'm yeah we don't really know what he is. I, I I don't really know him. I haven't really scouted him. I haven't really. I can't. I couldn't scout him. He was just popping up, and he didn't want to come on trial. So I'm just taking a risk here. I'm just taking a risk, but I think I need to do it. I I really. I think I don't think I'll find anything that is this good. I don't think I'll find nowhere near his level. So I want him in. Even if he is, we, we, I have no idea how good he is. I got some decent ideas here, but at least he got some decent physicals. We know that, but how big a star is he? He's going to be playing as a star player. Let's hope he is a star player. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, tons of things are happening. I'm trying to get rid of a couple of the guys that we got in that, that can't play for us, won't ever play for us probably. And we might even get some money for them, some of them, but it will be tough to get rid of all of them. I don't think that will happen. And they are already really unhappy with me because I'm telling you, you should go out and find your own club now because I can use you. So do that. And they're really unhappy about that, most of them. So uh, yeah, let's see what, what, the, what, what this is going to end up with. I haven't looked at him yet, but my... Well, not my assistant manager, but the guy that is making um, the reports here, he believes he's really good. So let's go in and see what he's all about. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's actually, uh, that's actually, that's, that's, that's. Place to play. Okay, he tries to play out of trouble. Yeah, he, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm definitely okay with this. He even got 11 passing and 10 work rate. Yeah, good. Technique 10. Right only. I'm, I'm okay with this. What? Are you, what? Why, why does he... He probably played a couple of games up here at some point in his career. 
Uh, let's take a second look at his history. Oh, he played from Tromsø. Okay. So he played in the Premier Division. Fair enough. I think this is a pretty good pickup. Yeah, this is a really good pickup for us. And he already is registered. I already registered him. Really good. Let's make sure he is training on something we... What is going on here? Why is it doing that? Defender, uh, ball playing, defend, mm, additional focus, nah. New traits, mm, nah. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, I did register him. Yeah, so we got 22 people now registered. Okay, I mean, a couple of more could be good, but I don't... I will still look for some more people, but... Yeah, what what is this? Minimum of sixteen players trained in Norway for three years before twenty first. Okay, we only got thirteen. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Nope. There we go. All the way up here. Who's this? Nobody. So we got a squad now. We got a couple of. Well, they are not gonna be. That's just. Let's just do this. Let's just terminate trials. We don't need them. Good. They are gone. I'm not sure if I need more. We we don't have the best goalkeepers. If if we are finding a really good goalkeeper, we'll get him in. But he needs to be homegrown. We need Norwegian homegrown people. Or they don't need they, to they, they don't need to be home uh Norwegian. They just need to be homegrown. They need to be trained in Norway for three years in their uh, early years. Uh, I think it's three years, maybe five years. I don't know. Depends on each country. But um, yeah, let's move on here. Peter Suik is out. We get 26k for him. So, well, let's just accept it and uh, get on with our lives here. Tulik is gone to another 27k. I mean, we are getting something out of this horrible situation. So, I guess we're gonna take it. We are getting a new physio in. He got ill. Nope, 10. 10 physio, but he is completely free. Ajavik is gone too. Let's accept it. And Milstad, Milstad, Christopher Milstad, he's gone too. Not really a lot of money in it, but at least we're getting something for having them on our wages for a couple of weeks or, yeah, a couple of weeks. So they're gone. Let's move on. Most of the other guys, I can't get rid of them, but they are going out on loans instead just for, you know, just letting them play instead of just sitting in my second squad. So there it is. Marcic is the first. I'm not going to show all of them. Maybe at the end, but uh, they are going out on loans, most of them. So here we go. First friendly is done and it was a good result, 3-0. And I also liked what I saw on the pitch from most of the guys. We were playing uh, the tactic or formation where we are focusing the left side. And as you can see, Simonson didn't have too much to play uh, or he didn't have much to do here uh, because he was really getting close. He, he was getting close down. They, I, I don't know why, but he was getting close down a lot. But we were really, really having a lot of ball control over here, especially from Noro. And that meant that we could ding the ball over to Shasser or Lund, especially Lund. And uh, they were just ripping this team apart. So that's pretty good. I did change to the other tactic just for a short while. But it didn't really work. So I changed back to this one again. And it worked. So uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, Skullik got his first uh, game. And yeah, a lot of these guys had their first game for us. Actually, pretty much everyone except from Reggie. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's a completely new team. So it's... It's good to see that they are capable of finding the shots, and I mean we could have we could have better chances, but it's all in all it's a good start to the friendlies here. Uh, I'm not going to talk this much about every friendly, so let's just move on with time here. Well, we did get a new player here, and he is of course homegrown. It is Hobart Lucival, um, utility player I would call him, <laughs> backup for sure. So he's 32 and he can play a couple of different positionings. I bought him in for playing the complete wing back on either side. So that is what he's going to do. He is, you know, probably not going to play that much. But uh, we might get his brother as well. Well, there we go. Vigard Luzvold, his brother. 
is gonna be in for us. Now this guy could potentially start in for us. Um, he is a striker. He is also advanced playmaker, I guess. <laughs> Not really. Probably more inverted winger or something. Yeah. Or inside forward. Yeah. For sure. So... I'm not sure. Also, Shadow Striker. He could potentially be our Shadow Striker. Um, so, just another player in. And we are looking like we are pretty good in most areas of the pitch right now. So, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I, th I think we're good. I think we're good here. So, let's accept him. And we got both Lucivolt brothers in. Exciting. Let's move on. We also got a new scout, he is on 275 wages, but I'm happy to have one more in, so we can do a little bit more scouting for the next season. He, well, he's not good, but I mean, he's gonna do the job for us. And he got, well, pretty much all the things that I need to find some decent players here. Norway, Denmark, Ferry, Iceland, stuff like that. Finland, Iceland, Sweden, right. The usual suspect. Um, Yeah, let's move on. The next friendly is over. It was against Fluja, so I mean, Fluja was in the same league as us last season, and uh, we got a two nil and completely dominated this. They did not have a chance at all. So uh, goals from Set Setra and Kravik. Kravik came on and did pretty good. I mean, this youngster, he is from our academy. He's doing quite well for himself so far. Um, Shasta did pretty good down here in the winger role. Citra, of course, uh, but that's the goal mainly. But again, the, def the, the, the defense looks pretty solid here. Uh, I like what I see from uh, our defenders. 6.2 on Jakobsen. I didn't notice that. Interesting. So, yeah, overall a pretty pretty good pretty good game here. Overall a really good friendly. Let's move on. 13-0 in the third friendly. I mean, they were not on our level at all. So, yeah, I played on and commentary for the most part here because I knew this was not really it was not gonna show me much here and it didn't it didn't really show me anything so well I guess Augustin and Sekulic and stuff like that yeah they did really well um but yeah it didn't really show anything so let's move on well hello there new youth intake let's take a quick look I haven't looked at any of them but let's just take a look at maybe the potential best here and uh, this guy got some decent ability already, so let's take a look. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, he's he's pretty decent. He's pretty decent. He could be something. Okay, and what about this guy, Duahus? Decent winger. Could potentially be something. Alright. That's fine. And what about this guy? He also got some decent... No, that's the same. Wait, hey, hold on. Yeah, this guy. Look at this potential here. Brazilian. Ooh la la. Yeah, he could be good, actually. He could be good. He doesn't look too bad. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Another good friendly here against um, Trump, Trump Stalin. And uh, yeah, we completely uh, killed it. Completely killed it. Um, they were in our league last season. And Sekulic just pumped up with a hat trick here. Really good result. I'm having trouble with the winger on this side. I don't have it on this side. But on this side, it seems to be not doing too well. Not sure why. Not completely sure why. Uh, we'll figure it out, I think. I think we'll figure it out. But uh, other than that, I think... Yeah, I've changed one thing. I've changed one thing in tactics. And that is that Sekulic is going to be playing as a target man when he's on. As you can see, that seems to be working out quite nice. Um, I just had to go to sleep, man. I was completely off here. But we are in the next day. As you can see behind me, it's pretty light outside now. <laughs> and uh, we just played a game, another friendly here, and we won it. So that's pretty good. Against Bosek, they are one of our affiliates. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the best result in the world, but... And then again, nah, it's not. They got they got a pretty big XG. We gave them two chances, but overall, Shasa with a great result here. Three goals from Shasa, the inside forward. He was really coming up big in this game. Augustin as well. Augustin a really good game for Augustin. 
in general, I just don't think our wingers are working. I might need to figure something out because they are, it doesn't really seem to be working out for them. Um, at least not on this side. I, play, I think last match I played this formation as well. I'm gonna try the other one in the next match and see how, how the winger is doing there. Because I think there is something wrong with the wingers. It seems like the wingers are not working right now. Um, I mean, what they are doing is that they are giving us that wide width. They're giving the width on the sides, but they are not really getting into the games much. But I don't understand that because we are focusing down the left here. But I guess because we are focusing down the left, it opens up the right side for Shazer and or if if the inside forward is playing on the other side, it's just opening opening it up so much that the game will turn to that side with the with the dings over the top and stuff. I'm not sure, we need to see a little bit more here. One more friendly is over. It was not really the result I was looking for. 1-1 one, one against Hardstart. I think it's Hardstart. Um, I mean, we're, as you can see, really dominating this. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, one positive thing that I want to say about this, if we should take anything away from this, because Nielsen was pressed pure. He's absolutely piss poor. So many chances for him and he didn't. I mean, Nelson, he's definitely our backup striker because he just can't score goals. We saw that last season. He He's just not doing too well. He's not really putting away the chances that he is getting. So, one thing I want to take away from this is that a a Antonsen was doing quite well in this match. And uh, so the wingers, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I think they are just being a little bit... Uh, you know, it's it's by chance. It's by chance. I don't. I think they are working. I think they are working. It's. It, I think the tactic is definitely working. I mean, we just need our strikers, uh, to score the goals. And in this case, both Simonson and Nielsen didn't score the goals. But both of them are not really. Well, Nielsen should be able to score goals. He's a striker. But Simonson, he's not really. A in, he's not an inside forward. He's not a scoring inside forward like Shasser is or like. Uh, Christensen is. They are. Christensen is also more scoring goals than Simonsen ever would. So we need to make sure that our inside forward and striker is capable of scoring goals because these are the guys that is more than likely popping up in the box area. So let's move on and uh, make sure that we're playing some players that actually can score some goals. Okay, I think we should take a quick look at us, uh, just a couple of things here in the team report and figure out. What is all our team all about compared to our opponents? So, general, not really a good tab here, but let's go through it. All positioners, not really important. Goalkeepers, how is our goalkeepers? They seem to be quite alright. Average, a little bit over average. That's fine, that's fine. Defenders. Take strikers off, midfielders and goalkeepers. And then we only have defenders here. Yeah, we are really pacey, we are really decent in acceleration, but other than that, we might have a problem. Um, let's, hope, let's hope the pace is going to be <laughs> making up for that. Let's check out the midfield here. Okay, so... Ooh, <laughs> I mean... Our passing, we have definitely not the best passers here. So that's interesting, uh, but we got some decent teamwork, tackling, technique, and what is this? Decisions, okay. Hmm, I'm wondering, how is our strikers in here actually? Okay. Okay. Because we got a lot of AMCs, and I think the AMCs is probably in this category. Alright. And on the attack, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, we're not really jumping and heading uh, wise. Not really that good. What about our midfielders? Got some decent headers in the midfield. Yeah, again, good pace, good accelerate, Accel acceleration, accelerate, acceleration, finishing from the midfield, pretty good because we got that some some of those inside forwards. So it's it's decent. Okay. Um, physical. Yeah, let's see overall. Yeah, again, pace, acceleration, yeah. 
strength. Now, strength is a worry to me. We are training a lot of strength on individual, uh, not individual, um, additional focus. I do want strength up because I feel like strength is a really important um, attribute in the lower leagues. Well, we're not really in lower leagues anymore. We are second division in, in Norway, but still, I still feel that strength is really important in in leagues that are not that good. Mentals, yeah, now we do have a, some decent mentals, it seems. Decent mentals, but we are definitely, we're definitely not an average team. We are uh, below average in most categories. Good dribblers, okay, we got really good dribblers. Finishing, yeah, finishing is pretty good. Dribbling is pretty good. That will get us some goals just right there. Technique, if that was a bit higher, then we would have gotten way more goals as well. And like I said, strength is pretty good for scoring goals as well. Um, but I think I think we will get our goals. Not that good in crossing. Passing is pretty low. We are not a passing kind of... And we don't really play passing game. We are more counter-attacking. We are more high-press counter. No, not really. Not re We are kind of balanced. We are, we are sort of balanced. But what we are really good at is running at teams. When we get the ball, we can run at them. And we can dribble them. And then just shoot as many shots as possible. So that's what we are all about. Okay, let's move on here. Okay, so second last friendly before the league starts here. And I'm a little bit worried now because we're seeing another 1-1 one -one result that we should definitely win. Uh, we're playing against Sentia. They are fr from the same league as us from the past season. And they're playing a standard 4-4-2 and we're only finding uh, one goal. Now, defensively speaking, we're looking pretty good against this kind of teams. But if we're going up against better opponents, they're probably going to score more goals against us. And if we can't find the goals with this kind of XG and shots on target, then we got a problem. And um, I'm actually not sure what to, to change here. We're looking at this. I mean, it is Lucifer's first, uh, first game. I'm not even sure how long he hasn't been out for. When did he play the last time? Uh, last season. Last season for Trump Talon. Okay. But that should be goals in this guy. Should be goals in this guy. Uh, if we're going back here and looking at this again. Sekulic didn't find the nets. Augustin didn't really... I mean, they're not playing bad. I mean, they're not playing bad. But we we, we need our inside forward to fin find some goals. Of course, also the striker. But these two guys, or if the inside forward is over here. The striker and the inside forward need to find goals. Our defense is doing fine. There's nothing... I mean, yeah, we let them get one chance and that chance they scored well what can i do about that i mean i can't really do anything about that other than that we're doing perfectly well here um could get a better goalkeeper i mean that would be but i'm, I'm not gonna find it I, there is absolutely no homegrown goalkeepers better than than these guys that i already have is they are not there or at least i can't find them at least my scouts and can't find them um so yeah Nielsen did pretty good when he came on, scored that goal in the... Wait, we, we were actually pretty close to... No, oh, yeah, right, they scored uh, right after. So it was a pretty boring uh, zero, uh, or, or, or nil nil until that moment. Um, but I'm actually not sure exactly what to change here. But I do maybe have an idea for the last friendly, so I might do that and see how, how it goes. So let's move on. All right. So what I'm going to do for the last friendly here is on both tactics, I'm going to take something off. And uh, I have thought about this and it makes sense compared to what kind of players we have and who our opponent is. We do not want to go for short passing. We want to go for a more balanced tactic here. We want to go for passing directness as a standard. It's okay if they're doing short passing. That's fine. But I don't want them to only do that. I, I want them... Well, not they are not only doing it when they are in here. Here, they're only doing short passing. But I want a more balanced tactic. And I want to. I don't want to work the ball into the box. I want I want them to ding it over the top from time to time. Because we do have pace. We do have acceler acceleration. So let's do that. Let's do that. 
So that's changed in both the tactics uh, of, of both the asymmetric, uh, asymmetric um, tactics. I probably not gonna use this much, uh, but if I am, I want to. I want to play this against opponents where I am very sure that we will dominate them, even with shorter passings, because that is where we want to work the ball into the box. Uh, but the, and the other two, I think, I think if going for something a little bit more standard um, is probably the way to go for for uh, this new league. Yeah, I mean that this 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 is probably way better. We could play for set pieces. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna go for it right now. This is what we are gonna go for. Still focusing down the left and overlaps and all that. Um, yeah. So let's move on. We are going with. Reggie and Noro as our captain and vice captain. I am perfectly happy with them being on the, those roles. Let's move on. The last friendly is over and finally we did find a really good win here. Um, I don't really remember who it was, but they are a lower team, not the best team in the world. But we, yeah, we were good. We were good. And Nilsson did find his nets. I mean, what I did here was. Going for players with better finishing, composure, technique, everything that you need for scoring goals. And that seems to be doing here. I went with Sekulic on the Shadow Striker, Nilsson, Christensen is pretty good at scoring, Augustin is pretty good at scoring. So all four people here, the winger, the Shadow Striker, the Striker and the inside forwards is all capable of scoring goals. They are definitely all good at that. So that was pretty important for me to, to get some guys in that I, that can actually score goals. I'm actually surprised that Augustin did this well over here because that is not his natural role. For sure not his natural role to be a winger. Uh, but he did quite well. Bonin did really good. Curler, everyone did good here. I mean there was not really anyone doing that bad. And as you can see most of the players out here played most of this match. Most of these guys are probably going to be playing in for the first uh, game. Uh, and Nielsen and Augustin got all, they got both their hat tricks. So, I mean, as a winger down here, I, I, may, I might play Augustin down here. I, I was, I'm surprised that that might be a thing, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. So, um, I, th I think we're done. I think we're uh, pretty much done with the preseason. Let's, let's, let's see if there is anything else we should uh, talk about here. So, as I was saying before, our first game is against Lillestrøm, and if we're taking a quick look at the first division here, yeah, they are a t some really tough opponents. I mean, they are definitely gonna win this league. <laughs> I I I'm not sure, but we will have trouble against them. We are mid-table uh, seeded, 26 and odds. To be honest, I'll be happy. I'll be happy if we're getting in this area. If we're getting a mid-season, mid-table season, fine by me. And we got one more season to, you know, get some players in that we need. Because I, I made a, you know, this preseason has been three episodes. I made some terrible mistakes by not reading the correct rules. And if we get a mid-table season, I'm perfectly happy with that. I just don't hope we are going down. I really don't hope we need to go down. That would be horrible. Yeah, preseason done. I, I, no more, no more. This is over. This is over. The next episode is gonna be against Lillestrøm in the first league game. It's gonna be a real tough one. I expect to lose that one, but uh, there's only one way to find out if we're gonna lose it. And that is to stick around.